Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Claire. You might recognize me from Instagram or TikTok, but today we're back on the YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Today I have a super fun video. We're going to be trying out a whole bunch of wedding dresses from Meshki, Tiger Mist, and Abercrombie for the wedding I'm going to in two days for two of my really good friends that are getting married. So I'm very excited. Okay, I'm in the midst of trying a bunch of these on, and I do feel like if you are looking for a prom dress right now because you're in high school, a lot of these double as really good prom dress options. I don't know what I'm wearing yet, so we have to figure that out today, and you guys should be helping me with that. Before we get into the video, I did want to quickly mention that I am wearing the new Buff Bunny collection drop, the cake collection, fittingly so, which I've already done review and try on haul for. I'll link that for you up in the link card here, but the drop is now live when this video is posted, so you can go ahead and shop that with code Claire if you're interested. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. This is unsponsored, bought all these pieces with my own money, so... We're gonna be brutally honest and we're gonna figure out the best wedding guest dress. Here is the first dress. This is the Sadie Maxi Satin Halter Ruched Slip Dress in pistachio green and an extra extra small. It's 125 bucks. I don't know that it, the quality necessarily feels $125 worth. It feels like, like a faux silk, similar to something you get off like Pretty Little Thing, which something there would be like closer to 60 probably, which I think is a more accurate price point for it. However, I did get all these pieces during a 25% off sale, so that kind of deviates the price. But Anyways, here's the first dress. I'm literally about to slip out of it. It's not very secure up top because I don't have anything to help hold it up since I'm not very gifted up here. And this was one of my favorite pieces when I was shopping on the website, so I'm a little bit bummed that I don't think this is gonna be the one. I don't know, maybe if it were like more fitted through here, so it was like more flattering on the waist as opposed to being like kind of loose through here and then a little bit more secure on the girls, that would be nice. I do, however, love the back. It's super open and it's got that like pretty cowl back detailing, which I do really like like some pluses and minuses to this one i do love the color too been here for a while you know by now that green is one of my favorite colors i don't love it especially for how expensive it was i just feel like i wish i loved it a little bit more i just don't feel that confident so let's go ahead and try on another one okay this next one is the nadia maxi satin dress with back cowl in the color black, obviously, and an extra extra small, and this one is $115. Another faux satin, but this one is definitely less shiny, a little bit more heavy. I don't know, just another fake satin, basically. Just a little bit overpriced, in my opinion. The fit of this one, again, is like, meh, not great. The lining is really, like, fitted through here, but then the second layer that the dress is, like, gapes out a lot on the side, so don't really love it for that reason. Also, I like color, but the colors in this dress were sold out, so I had to get the black one. It's got some cool like seam detailing that's really hard to see in the black again pick this one out because i love the back obviously love a little excuse to show off the back gains i think this one falls even prettier than the green so i do like that about this one but it's also just not the best fit so i don't know again hoping we find something that i like a little bit more i also just do not fill out the chest region at all and i feel like i size down to an extra extra small to try and fit the bust realm and it's still like gaping so much and like super baggy through here so i don't know the itty bitty titty committee she has her issues but yeah also this one zips up the side the other one is just like a pull on the length is really good it's just to my ankles so it'd be really good with heel again don't love it i'll show you some details up close I think we might have a potential winner here. This is the Darcy Cowell Maxi Dress with low back in the color lavender in a size extra extra small, 79 bucks. So the most affordable option so far and also the best fitting. It's really, really thick, high quality fabric. I feel like the faux satin has a lot of wrinkling whereas this kind of like stretchy spandexy fabric will lay a bit smoother, which I do like a lot. The back is super pretty and low. You guys know I love an open back. Show off the back gains, you know the vibes. So yeah, I honestly like this one. I like the little cowl at the front because it's like intentionally baggy and like the other ones which just look like my titties are too small. So I feel like this one is so far our winner. Obviously comment down below and let me know what you think, especially at the end of the video because we still have so many more to try. But yeah, this one's really cute. And this like periwinkle little moment, very cute color. I'll show you some details up close. It's got like this little knot situation at the back, super cute. Okay, Meshki, here is our next option. This is the Seraphine. I think I'm saying that right. Lace maxi dress in cherry chocolate. Again, size extra, extra small. Most expensive dress, I believe, 
35 bucks. Once again, we have that faux satin, which just the seams are so wrinkly. I don't know if you can tell, but these seams just do not lay flat at all. And I would just say rule of thumb when shopping mesh, you steer clear of all that faux satin stuff. It just doesn't lay that well. However, the top finally does fit pretty good. It's got like sticky lining in here to help hold it in place, which is nice. Obviously, I don't fill it out as much as I would like if I were bigger busted, but it still is more like secure feeling at least. So yeah, I think it's cute with all these little cutouts. I like the back of it, how open it is again. Super cute. Obviously, I was drawn towards that aspect when shopping. I think that this brown color is really pretty as well. And yeah, I think it's a good option. I just, the seaming here is really bothering me. And same issue along the side here. We've got that like bubbled seaming situation. But here, I'll show you some of the details of this one up close. Again, not super secure, but still very cute. Like the back as well. Okay. Next one. Here is the next one. It's kind of giving like goth funeral vibes, but it's also really cute, I feel like. I don't know. Y'all are gonna have to tell me, but if you're noticing some awkward fitting up here, it's because I can't do up the little buttons on the back here by myself. I need help because my nails are too long, but I love the slit on this one. I love the opening around here, but y'all are gonna have to let me know if this is like a little too much for a wedding. It might be a little much. I love the length though because it goes right to the ankle, so it's not gonna like drag with heels and I love the big open slit because it's so much easier to walk in. Like, I like that periwinkle one so much, but I'm just worried that it's going to be hard to walk in without a slit. So the slit is super helpful. I also feel like this one is just the most fitted. Like, it fits really well. And I love a good long sleeve that you can, like, kind of put over the hands. Super cute. Lacy black moment is very me. I love this kind of vibe. It's really cute. I like it a lot. I think I'm going to have to watch this footage back and see, though, because I don't have a mirror with me, so I can't really tell quite how, like, scandy looking it is. But if it reads, like, classy with a little bit of like open back cutesy moment then like i'm here for it i also like the high collar a lot too just because like we've mentioned i don't have much going on up here so a nice high neck kind of helps me feel covered cute confident secure etc okay that's the last of the mesh ski dresses we're gonna go ahead and get into tiger mist next okay. here is the first tiger mist dress option this is the ramona dress in neutral macro floral rose it's a size extra extra small only 42 bucks too so Definitely more affordable option. I think the fit is really good. Again, I love that there's a little slit just because it's easier to walk in. Low back, as we know, I love that. It's super cute. Um, and then it's got kind of like a deeper V here, but it still feels secure enough. Like the girls are held in, which I appreciate. And then it's also got that kind of sticky stuff along here to make sure everything stays in place, which we love. I think that this pattern is pretty cute and different. I think the floral is kind of giving spring wedding vibes. So yeah, I think this one is overall cute and I like it a lot and I like that it's on the more affordable side too. It's also like a meshy kind of fabric with like a silky lining. Here it is up close. Prince is trying to eat it of course. Okay, here is the only short dress option I got. I'm kind of thinking maybe this could be the vibe. I might throw it in my bag just in case. But this is the Luna dress in red. It's only 35 bucks. Size extra extra small again. It is a little bit on the short side. I mean, I think the asymmetrical helps, but I feel like on this side, I don't know if it's too short for a wedding. Obviously, I love the red. It matches the nails. I also think this little, like, tie situation is super fun and cute and different. The deep V is kind of working for me because the girls are still hidden and secure. And then, obviously, another little back moment. We love that. And like I pointed out before, the asymmetrical is kind of cute. I like it, I think. But yeah, it's just got some, like, cinching detailing around the waist. Y'all gonna have to let me know what you think, but it's kind of giving, like, the little salsa dancer emoji. Let's move into Abercrombie, the last brand. Here is our first Abercrombie dress. It's in green, obviously. 130 bucks. The satin, or like faux satin on this, is much nicer feeling than the meshki one. It just kind of feels softer, smoother. There's still some puckering in the seams, but I don't think it's quite as bad. And this is, again, a size extra, extra small. It's got this like little cinchy detail thing around like the bust line, and then it kind of dips into this little cowl, which is cute. Again, gives some open back, not as much as the other ones, but very cute. I think this green is really Really pretty I like it even more than the pistachio green we saw earlier I think the olive is better on my skin tone it's cute it's kind of giving like a little martini olive vibe and it's got this seam under the bust here I feel like it doesn't quite feel $130 worth because to me that's quite a bit of money that's like prom dress territory however still very cute and feels 
very nice quality. Is this the same exact dress? Yes. Why didn't I pick it out in another color? Because I like the pink more. However, it was out of stock in all sizes except for the extra extra small petite and I was worried the petite wouldn't fit or like the length would be awkward. But honestly, it fits the same as the green. If not, the length is just a little bit better. So some food for thought there if you are stuck getting a petite size and you're 5'7 like me. Same exact details as before. As mentioned, I love a good pink color. So super cute. Quality fit. Everything else is pretty much exactly the same. I think that the bust is true to an extra extra small in the sense that I feel tight and secure here as opposed to like it bagging out and feeling too big. So I think it runs more true to size than the other ones, at least for a smaller chest size. However, if you have a bigger chest size, I don't suggest this one because it is a little bit fitted up here. But yeah, here she is in all of her glory. Move the camera up to show you some details. Super cute. I honestly, seeing them both in person, might prefer the green. I think online the pink read a little better, but the green in person, I'm liking a bit more my skin tone. But yeah, still very cute. I'll probably return this one. If I keep one of the two, it would be the green. And that is everything for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and comment down below which one is your favorite wedding guest dress. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next Sunday at 10 a.m. as per usual. Bye!